The Belle Isle Boathouse is an iconic Detroit landmark, but it could soon be on the chopping block. That's right. Today I learned about the condition that it's currently in and why a recent influx of cash won't be enough to save it. <laughs> Native Detroiters and friends Mike Lukowski, Greg Gavrecki, and Ray Martiniak were out for a bike ride when I caught up with them. We talk while we're riding that we all have childhood memories from when we used to come down right and yeah. swim. And I've been coming here for 70 years. My son, when he was in high school, used to crew, and I saw the boats, the crew boats out there. It'd be pretty sad to see it go because yeah. it's got a good history, long history. Long this history. Place. He's talking about the Belle Isle Boathouse, a Detroit icon since it was built in 1902. It's now managed by the Department of Natural Resources. Thomas Bissett is the DNR's urban district supervisor. What it really brought back to me is, is the nostalgia of what you would get from um, oh, things like the Meadowbrook Hall and, and the buildings like that, where it's just really very ornate and very beautiful. The concrete Venetian-style building was designed by Detroit architect Alpheus Chittenden. Bissett says, unfortunately, there's more degradation to the building than most realize. It's a building right out on the water. Concrete tends to absorb that water, and a lot of that degradation comes from that. There are failings as far as the roof. Um, the uh, floor actually collapsed in a couple of different spots. Uh, some of the balconies are collapsing. The good news is that Belle Isle Park has received about $23 million in American Rescue Plan dollars. On Thursday, a Belle Isle Advisory Committee will receive a public presentation about future options. There are three options out there. I mean, one would be demolition, two would be, you know, delaying. And, and, and mothballing, and the third would be some sort of restoration. But restoration would cost tens of millions. We are in a spot where we only have so much money to go around. We have over $200 million worth of stuff identified that needs repair or replacement on the island. I ran the numbers for restoring the Belle Isle Boathouse by Mike, Greg, and Ray. They did tell me, though, that it would cost probably between 40 to $50 million to repair it. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Yeah. And while they would hate to see it go... I think for that kind of money, for restoration, money could be spent better somewhere else. Mm. Now, for others, this, of course, is a Detroit icon that many have childhood memories of. It's been around for over a century, and we have seen so many buildings go here in Detroit. Now, the public can make their voices heard tomorrow at the public meeting, and we have information about how you can make your voice heard on our website, WXYZ.com. Of course, it has seen better days. It does need a lot of work, and just is that what you want to spend the money on? I mean, so many memories, but every time you ride by it, you just go, ooh. So it's, it's either, it needs to be fixed, or, yeah. but the public and will weigh in for sure. It's getting dangerous. It is. Sure. Yes, yes.